to Hale's World and if you haven't already seen my video on the Galaxy S21 Ultra then I highly suggest you do because there are some great features in there too but in this video I'm going to show you even more awesome tips and tricks on the S21 and S21 Plus starting off with object erase. So for this what you do is open up the gallery and select an image where you want to erase something from the background. Then you click on the edit icon and swipe to the right hand side until you see this icon. Once you tap on this you can narrow in on what it is you want to remove from your background. So for my example I wanted to get rid of these headphones. You just tap on the object it highlights red, click that erase button and the bam the object is removed from your background. So here's the example I just created and as you can see it is super simple. It doesn't always work a hundred percent but for the most part it's pretty cool. So next time you got a little something something in the background that you want to remove just use object erase. Now one thing I love about the S21 Plus are the epic cameras and what's really cool is if you head into the camera application and swipe right into video mode Right over here you will see this format icon and if you click on that, swipe to the left, you will see 8K at 24 frames per second, which is obviously a super high resolution. But not only that, once you're ready to start filming your videos and hit that record button, towards the bottom right hand corner you will see this little picture icon. And if you click on that, it actually takes a snapshot while you're recording an 8K video. So here's an example I got of Mike and while filming this I got these super high quality snapshots. But if you forgot to take snapshots while filming there is a little bit of a workaround. So what you do is find that 8k video you took and scrub until you find a picture you want to capture. So I thought this part looked really cool and would make for the perfect snapshot. Then all you do is click on this little icon in the top left hand corner and now I have an awesome picture of Mike and because this was filmed in 8k when I go ahead and zoom into the picture as you can see the quality is still pretty good. Now this is such a fun feature and let me show you what it is. Under the search section if you type in AR Zone and select the AR Zone app, in here you can then select AR Emoji Studio and create your own custom emoji. This is much the same as Apple's Memoji except if you click on call screen you will see these options right at the bottom and if you tap on one your emoji comes to life and starts doing the most epic dance as you can see. So once you've checked out the various dances and background and decided on your favorite one you can go ahead and click the save button and then this is where it gets really fun you can set this as your call screen background so now when someone phones you you don't get that standard boring background you get your own personal customized emoji dancing like crazy and I just love this there are some other options you can choose for your call screen background so don't forget to check out my Samsung Ultra video for that but what you can also do in this AR emoji zone is you can select a different dance and then get this you can save this this as your lock screen background. So once you go ahead and lock your phone and then tap on the screen, your custom emoji will do a dance again with that crazy cool background. I honestly didn't think I would love this as much as I do, but it is just so cool. Now, if you want to take full advantage of these beautiful cameras on the S21 Plus, then you're going to want to take your pictures in RAW. And to do this, all you do is open up the camera and access the camera settings, then click on Format and Advanced Options, and right in here, you will see RAW copies. Once that is toggled on in future, then when you access the gallery, you will see the JPEGs as well as the RAW images thanks to this RAW icon. This is such a fantastic feature because when going to then edit your pictures in Lightroom, for example, you're able to do so much with your image and keep so much more detail than you ordinarily would with just a JPEG. And as you can see, there's a pretty big difference between the original and my edited pic. Another really cool thing you can do is if you head on over to portrait mode within the camera, right over here you will see this little icon and if you click on that, you can tap into a whole bunch of other effects. Overall, portrait mode got some serious enhancements for a much better background. Check this out. So as mentioned, if you click on this effects icon, you will see a bunch of different effects to choose from, like studio, high key mono, or low key mono. And not only that, you can adjust the intensity of each of these effects. Regardless of which effect you use though, your portrait shots will look amazing like these, thanks to those beautiful new cameras. 
These days with the amount of video calls we're doing, this is an awesome addition to the Samsung and you can access it by going to settings and then advanced features. Once in there, scroll down until you see video call effects and if you tap on that, you'll see blur, color and image. So these are video background effects options and you can test them out just by clicking that preview button. Here you can see it has completely erased the background and replaced it with a color, but if you'd prefer an image, you can go ahead, click this little icon and select one straight from your gallery. So I decided to go for one of my free wallpapers. I'll chat more about that at the end of the video, but once it's set, I just click preview and check it out. So once you're ready and have your favorite background set, then all you do is head on over to Google Duo and call your friend or family member. And as you can see, your custom background will appear and completely erase whatever it is going on behind you. So this is a pretty cool feature because you no longer have to worry about that huge mess in your background if you have video effects toggled on. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love using the always on display option and there are a ton of really cool funky designs to choose from on the S21 Plus. To access these always on display options, head on over to settings and scroll down to lock screen. Once in there, make sure always on display is toggled on. Then if you tap on it, you'll see clock style. And if you tap on that, here's where you can choose some super cool custom clock styles and animated GIFs. So once you've decided on the color of your clock as well as the design, you can click on this little image icon right over here. And this is where you choose your custom image or custom GIF. They have a bunch of preloaded GIFs to choose from that are super fun and once you've selected your favorite one click done and now anytime your screen is locked you'll have the coolest always on display around there are some great sound features you can adjust on the S21 range, but first up, the volume toggle got quite a bit of a makeover. I personally much prefer this and love how easy it is to access. Then, if you head into settings and click on sound and vibration, then just scroll down until you see the option that says sound quality and effects. Tap on that and in here you'll be able to toggle on Dolby Atmos Audio and if you tap on that you can then further adjust your audio to optimize for whatever it is you're listening to or watching. If you head back to the sound quality and effects settings you will see this equalizer where once again you have full control over the audio of your phone and can completely adjust it to your taste and your liking. And if that wasn't enough you can even choose your audio based on your age or by doing a hearing test. You do need to have Galaxy Buds for this but if you don't have a pair as you can see there are still so many other audio options so guys did you know there are some hidden widgets you can access through the lock screen with just one tap it's super duper simple let me show you so once you open up the lock screen and tap on the clock here you will see the widgets magically appear and if you scroll all the way down you'll see the settings option and if you tap on that here is where you can customize these widgets a bit further so first up you can reorder them to best suit your widget taste and you can also choose to toggle some of them off if you don't want things displayed like digital well-being or your Bixby routine and again if you just go ahead tap on that clock you will see your widgets all reorganized so anytime you want to check out the weather or control your music don't forget about these sneaky little widgets on the lock screen On to some of my favorite quick tips and if you're busy watching a YouTube video and then exit YouTube to go to your home screen, picture in picture mode activates but what you can now do is adjust the size of the picture on your home screen which is pretty nifty and then of course you can continue browsing your phone as you normally would and move that thumbnail anywhere on your screen if you want or if you decide you're done with watching just click and hold down on that little thumbnail and drag it to the bottom over the X. Then the traditional way to check out widgets is by clicking and holding down on the home screen and tapping on widgets. From there you can scroll through all the various ones and choose the one you're looking for, but there is a much faster way just by going to the app you want a widget for, clicking and holding down and seeing if this widget option appears. So as you can see for Netflix and Spotify, they do have some widgets and if you click on it, straight away you will see the widget options and you can just add them. Then if you head into notifications under the settings section and tap on this 
brief pop-up style, right over here you will see brief pop-up settings. Then if you click on color by keyword, you can change the notification color if it has this keyword in its title. So once you've typed in specific keywords like names for example, that works super well. Then click on this little blue dot and now select the color you want your notification to have when it's got the specific word in the title. So now anytime I get a notification with one of those specific words in, the notification color changes so I can quick and easily see who it's from. Finally guys, I have some epic free wallpapers for you to download from my website hailsworld.com. I made these specifically for the Galaxy S21 range and as mentioned in the beginning, don't forget to check out my S21 Ultra video because there are a lot of tips and tricks in there too. So if you haven't already, definitely check out the links down below for these wallpapers and also let me know which was your favorite tip, trick or hidden feature. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!